Hi boys and girls, Miss Campbell again and we're going to move on to day three of our lockdown time capsule. Now I thought today something that we could do would be to make a musical instrument. So every Thursday at 8pm people are going to their doors and clapping for their carers and I think it would be fun for us to make our own instrument so that when we are there and we're clapping for our carers, carers rather, people hear us over everybody else. Now, the instruments I've made or have lying out in front of me are made from things that I've got lying around the house. I think this will be a little bit easier for you because you guys will have toys and boxes and things that hopefully you'll be able to put to use. If not, you can turn to your kitchen, which is what I've done. However, food is very, very important right now. So you must ask your parents' permission or your carer's permission before you take anything from the cupboards. Okay, so make sure mum and dad or granny and grandpa are completely on board before you start to do this. Alright, so we're going to start simple and the first thing I thought we could make would be a maraca or a version of a maraca. Mine's is not looking very Spanish. So I have a box that had some cakes in and I kept the box and I have filled it full of some seeds. Now I have used a packet of buckwheat. But you could use pasta shells, you could use lentils, you could use bits of your Lego, you could use little balls from any of your football games or anything that you think will go inside and rattle around to make a good noise. Now you might have to get your parents to help you tape this up to make sure that whatever is inside stays inside and doesn't end up all over the carpet. But I'm just going to pop the lid on mine and I would tape around the edges to make sure nothing falls out. And when I go to my door on Thursday at 8 o'clock to clap for our carers, I can rattle my maraca so that everyone knows I'm there and that I'm cheering extra loud. So that's option one. Option two, if your parents allow it, could be to use a bottle. Now this is a glass bottle, you could use a plastic bottle because it already comes with the lid attached. So then all you have to do is fill it up with something similar to what you put in this maraca. Now I tried putting some mixed nuts or seeds in mine and they're too small. They don't make enough noise. So this Way, is way too small. It's not going to give you the noise that you want. You're not going to be the loudest cheater on the street. So instead, I tried some cashew nuts because they are much, much bigger, as you can see. So I'm going to pop them in the top. Now you could be counting how many you put in so that you're practicing your numeracy skills and making sure that you get them right in the top to practice your fine motor skills. Now when you have some in, you just screw the lid back on and give it a good shake and there's another maraca. Now because the glass is thicker, that's not so loud. So what you put in your bottle, you might want to make slightly heavier so that you can hear it better. But then that becomes a bit of a danger with the glass. So if you can, use a plastic bottle. Miss Campbell just didn't have a plastic bottle lying around. I only had glass, but please try and use plastic to, so I know that you're nice and safe. The third option, and perhaps the most difficult one to make, I thought would be to make a castanet, or k -k -k castanets. So you are going to need a strip of cardboard. I've just taken this off an old box that I had in. And all you need to do is split it in half. You don't need all that much. Because remember, we want it to fit in our hands, and my hands are much bigger than yours. So with the bit of cardboard that you have, you want to bend it in half. So you've got a little mouth, okay? And then you are going to need some lids. Now this could be the lids off bottles, or this could be the lids off jars. Obviously not jars that are full and that you're still using, just ones that mum or dad or grandma grandpa might be throwing out. So I have two bottle lids left over, and I'm going to stick these on the inside of my mouth, like this. Now, I don't have any glue sticks at home, I've only got glue dots, but you could use sellotape if you wound it so it was back to back and sticky on both sides. But again, this could be something that your parent helps you out with or your adult helps you out with, because this might be a tricky bit. With the glue dots, I'm just going to stick it on the lid. 
take the blacking off and stick it to my cardboard. Then I'm going to bend it over so I can see where I've got to put my next one because we want the lids to be hitting. That is how we're going to make our noise. So then I'm going to take my next load up and do exactly the same thing. Pop on, take off and stick it down. So now I have a castanet that makes a lot of noise when I rattle it together. Now this is also good, very good for your motor control skills to see if you can do it with just one hand. Miss Campbell even struggles a little bit, I might have to use my other hand to steady it. But it's very good practice for your motor skills too. So I would like you to have a go at making an instrument. If you have ideas other than the ones that I've done, then absolutely give them a go too. And after you've finished clapping for our carers on a Thursday, you can pop these, this or this, into your lockdown time capsule so that when we look back through it, when all this is over, we can remember that's what we used to cheer for the people who are taking the best care of us. Good luck.